Hello everyone. Uh, I created a small uh, Python script that uh, allows anyone to mint Zen on multiple wallets. It basically creates as many wallets as you want. It seeds them uh, from your main funding account uh, with either uh, Ethereum uh, or uh, BNB. So it really depends. Uh, there are two scripts. One can run on the uh, Binance uh, smart chain and another one can run on Ethereum. Um, I'm going to demo the one on the Binance uh, blockchain because uh, you know that's uh, it's much easier, much cheaper actually to uh, to mint Zen on uh, on Binance smart chain than on Ethereum. Um, so this is a very simple script. Uh, it uh, it is a one file. You fill up some information and then uh, it's going to save. Uh, all of the newly created wallets um, uh, into this uh, text file. It, um, the way it works is that you will set up how many accounts uh, or how many wallets do you want to create. Uh, so this is uh, really a uh, number of wallets. And then uh, you'll specify where you want to save these uh, newly created wallets, information, the private keys, um, and all of the details. So that's this file. And then uh, you have an option to, um, you know, set your number of days before you can claim Zen um, and, and create all 10 wallets uh, with the same date, or you can do the range. So zero is for set the date and one is for date range. So if you want to put in a zero and set up this number at 400, then all 10 accounts uh, will have Zen uh, minting uh, date set at 400. Now, uh, if this was set to one, uh, you could basically say, I still want to create 10 wallets, uh, but I can, I'm going to start at day 10. And what the script does is then it increases for every wallet by one day. So you have basically what's going to happen here is that 10 will, uh, first account, uh, first wallet will be uh, at 10 days minting, then the next one at 11, 12, 13 until it reaches 20 because then 10 plus 10 is 20, and then it will uh, finish. So this is quite simple. Um, I'm going to demo this to you quickly. Um, um, I'm going to also release uh, both of these scripts as um, as a um, open source, so anyone can grab it and, and use it. Uh, the link to GitHub uh, is going to be uh, in the description of this video. And I'll probably write something on my blog about this as well. So um, anyway, so let's uh, demo this to you. So here in my, uh, you know, IntelliJ idea, I can I can just click on run, but you can also run this uh, as a flat file from from your file system as long as you have Python installed. Py Python 3.9, I believe, is set up here. So I'm gonna press uh, run, and this is going to create 10 wallets um, at um, 400 days each. Actually, let's change that. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the date range. So I'll I'll do uh, 10 wallets. Uh, day range starting at 10 days uh, and it's gonna go actually starting at 100 days and so it the first one will uh, have the minting date at 100 the second wallet at 101 and until it reaches 110 10 days and I'll show you how that works so I'm just gonna press run okay so it started it, it's telling me um, I've initially initialized creation of 10 wallets. So it's going to create 10 unique wallets. Uh, your BNB balance is 3.89. 3.89 BNB is worth about $1,000 roughly today. Um, and that is sufficient to create 2,048 wallets. So, you know, you can imagine if, if you set this at 400 and you can mint on each wallet at around 5 million Zen. For one thousand dollars, yeah, you you know you basically can create two thousand of those that have ten million in them. So do your math. It's that's pretty impressive. On Ethereum, this each of these wallets would cost a lot more, 
probably around four to five bucks. So um, minting them on uh, Binance Smart Chain is probably much better. Anyhow, so let's uh, let's see what's happening here. So it started um, creating wallets, and it's uh, it's 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 actually it's on the wallet number four now. So let's see what uh, what we do here. So it created created wallet number one it gives it a name and you can use this in your metamask as a name because it helps you search it and tells you minting zen on uh, binance smart chain and and on friday uh, on 100 days from from today on friday 2023 uh, 20th of january you can go over to your uh, zen uh, wallet and and retrieve uh, retrieved the uh, newly minted uh, Zen. Now, uh, it gives you the new wallet seed words. If you want to save them somewhere, it gives you the seed string, it gives you the private key, and the Ethereum, or in this case, uh, yeah, it's, it's running. It uh, gives you the Ethereum address of that particular wallet. Um, you can actually see what happened here, the transaction hash of, of actually seeding this newly created account with some, uh, with a little bit of uh, BNB. So if you click on it, it, you know, this was successful, this uh, happened just a little while ago. Uh, if you, uh, you want to see how, we, how the application claimed the Zen, you can actually look at here as well. And that was successful two minutes ago. And um, what you can do also is just to grab your private key, uh, copy it, and go to your MetaMask account. Uh, you can you can just go here and import account. You copy the private key there, and we have a new account. It was already um, then it was already uh, claimed, so this is all, almost empty at this point. This is worth probably um, you know a couple cents, two three cents. So you can connect this account and if you connect it now you're connected to this newly created uh, wallet uh, if you go to mint it's telling me okay this was uh, minted for 100 days uh, yeah that's correct it estimated zen is uh, almost 3 million and that's the first wallet uh, you can you can use this name if you want what i do usually is just go here and on that connected wallet, I go here and account details and I'll rename it to this so I can then easily find it and I know when it's expiring. What you need to know also is uh, if you don't claim it, then every day after the day that it's supposed, you know, supposed to uh, finish the term, you're going to get penalties. So as then will start to get taken away from you unless you come and either claim and share it or claim and stake it. Now, this was already completed, looks like, yeah, 10 wallets were created, and this file has been created as well, where you have them all stored, uh, along with all the information about them. Now, if you want to see, like, let's say, last, uh, last account here, uh, so I'm going to grab a private keys of that wallet, that's supposed to be at uh, date 109, so I guess uh, we started at 100, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the last one is at 109 days. Now you can again do the same thing. Go to your MetaMask account. Um, you will import your account, paste in your private key, and the new account is here. So if you connect it, connect. Now you can see that uh, your term date is at 109 days exactly as it says here. So then, you know, you can search your uh, text file every day as, as, as it goes when you get to that day. Uh, connect your uh, wallet and claim the Zen. So this is an easy way of doing it. And, and basically, uh, between each creation of the wallets, there is about 20 second delay uh, to make sure that uh, because I'm monitoring here if uh, the transaction hash went through uh, fine. So it's about 20 seconds. So you can you can create three wallets per minute, basically, with this script. OK, well, that's pretty much it. Uh, the link to the GitHub will be uh, posted uh, down below. Um, you know, you can rate this video if you want, grab a, you know, and donate a coffee if you want. All right, take care, everyone. Enjoy it. Uh, enjoy Zen.
it's a it's a fantastic project. Um, I you know I I tend to stay away from these things, but this one really sticks to me. So um, enjoy and uh, leave me a comment if you want. Take care.